Thank you for tuning in to an episode of In Range. I've got here today an IMI Galil Ace in 308, and this is one of the guns that everyone's been asking for for a mud test. And well, Turtle Lake Tactical out of North Dakota, a small FFL there, has graciously loaned us this brand new 308 Galil Ace for the first rounds fired out of it. This is brand new out of the box. First rounds fired or me firing it to test fire it. And then the subsequent rounds are going to be an in range mud test. So uh, Turtle Lake Tactical is a brave and awesome FFL. If you're in North Dakota, check them out. So first of all, let's make sure the gun works. These are literally the first rounds fired out of this gun. Oops, take it off safe. And here we go. All right, as expected, brand new gun out of the box. Shouldn't be a problem. And of course, it does have this really cool safety, or actually a mud gateway here. This is a debris, like spring-loaded. I believe this is a Swiss design that they've incorporated into the Galil Ace, which should hopefully mitigate the problem that we've seen with AKs. Now, there still is this path for ingress, but eh, we'll find out. All right, Turtle Lake Tactical. There we go. Brand new gun. First five rounds fired. Already getting coated in in-range mud. All right, that side's pretty much covered. And here we go. All right, I'll do my normal plop. Cool safety on the Galil Ace. Yeah, here we go. Three rounds. <laughs> Failure to go into battery. Let's open it up. Failure to go into battery. All right, there we go. Same thing. Failure to go into battery. All right, let's take the mag out. I'm gonna go ahead and mortar it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to a clean mag. Brand new clean mag. We are not in battery. We are not in battery. There we are. All right, now we're going again. Let's give it one more douse. Looks like this works. Looks like this has a problem. Two rounds, same problem. Ingress into the ejection port. Ooh. I'm scooping it out with my fingers. Nope. Nope. Jammed. Nope. And now we got, ah! Now we got a double feed. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and open this. I think with the bolt. Wow. There we go. Let's see here. All right, I gotta mortar it. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, of course, that's the design. So you can see with the dirt and debris, we were able to get that stuck round out. You can see it's falling right into where the locking recesses are for the locking lugs. And that's exactly what happened on every other AK. So the Galil Ace is better, but the reality is this is going to inherently be a problem with a very large unprotected ejection port. This is better than a traditional AK. Traditional AK failed really quick. This one, when I was able to mitigate it and get it running again, this dust cover, mud cover on the left side of the gun where the charging handle is, absolutely worked. That worked perfectly. This side, not. This is where everything ingressed in, the ejection port and bolt reciprocation area. So maybe something here to deal with the mud and dirt and ingress. Maybe even a shield, because it seemed like it was falling in from up here above where the handguards are, right into the action. So I'll try it one more time here. And we have a stuck round. All right, yeah, we're done. So maybe something to protect or make the clearances a little tighter around the actual bolt reciprocation and ejection port. Um, people have asked a lot about the Galil Ace, thinking that this would fix the problem, and it fixed part of the problem, but it didn't fix 
the whole problem. So once again, I'd like to thank Turtle Lake Tactical for providing this Galil Ace for this test. That was very brave of them. Brand new out of the box, brand new gun, pretty well used now. And guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please consider supporting us on Patreon. All those 308 rounds you saw me fire today because of people like you. No lords, no masters, no sponsors, strictly you the viewer. If you already are, thank you. If you can't, I understand. Subscribe to one of our multiple distribution points. You can find them all at inrange.tv. Thanks, and share with your friends.